Mission STS-51L, set for January 28th, carried seven astronauts. But beneath the gleaming exterior, a critical flaw existed within its solid rocket boosters. These colossal segments were sealed by rubber O-rings, and the engineers who designed them had repeatedly warned that these rings lost their seal in cold temperatures, a ticking time bomb that was widely being ignored. On the extremely cold day of January 28th, temperatures had plummeted well below freezing. Despite frantic last-minute pleas from the engineers, desperate warnings not to launch, NASA management, under intense pressure, overruled them. At 11.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Challenger lifted off. Almost immediately, the rings on the right SRB failed to seal their joint. Puffs of dark smoke, a telltale sign of a blow-by, escaped, briefly resealing. But at just T plus 58 seconds, a jet of superheated flame broke through the compromised seal. The searing inferno burned directly onto the strut connecting the SRB to its massive external tank. At T plus 73 seconds, the external tank ruptured. Aerodynamic forces unleashed tore the shuttle apart in a violent fiery explosion at 46,000 feet. A nation watch stunned as fragments rained into the Atlantic. The recovered crew cabin tragically suggested that some of the astronauts actually survived the initial explosion, only to lose their lives as they made impact with the ocean. But the investigation exposed a far more chilling truth, the normalization of deviance. A culture had taken root at NASA where known risks were accepted and engineers' warnings silenced. They had a pervasive habit of prioritizing the schedule over the value of their own employees' lives. 